Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Today I'll do the reading for Libra, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Uh, love reading. Uh, so Libra, this is about um, your love connection. So if you're thinking about somebody, if you have someone in mind, this is a reading for you. Yeah, let's find out um, what's going on in that connection and their current feelings towards you. For this reading, I'll be using my very own tarot deck, the Nomad Soul Warrior uh, Tarot Limited Edition. Uh, it is now available at my Etsy shop. You can check the description, uh, the link in the description box below, or you can follow me in Instagram at Nomad Soul Warrior. And in there, you can see the link as well as the link to the star deck, as well as you can send me a direct message if you have questions about the tarot deck, okay? All right, so Libra, let's get on with your reading. One more. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. First card out, Page of Pentacles. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Seven of Cups. Death. What's this? The Empress. The Chariot, Ten of Swords, the Two of Wands, Seven of Wands, the Lovers, Ten of Pentacles, <laughs> the Devil, and the Judgment. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. Wow. Similar energy I feel with Scorpio. So you could be dealing with one or you may have Scorpio in your chart. You can check out that reading as well. Uh, all right, Libra, you're pretty busy with um, the nitigrity in life. The, the nitigrity of life. You're busy with um, the daily activities, the daily work, daily job that gives you that income stream. Um, more so about stability. Uh, I'm just not saying about money because it's not always the case. But here I feel like you're um, putting your effort into things that have long-term value, long-term effect, right? Because you want to secure a stable and um, you want to get a, a stable and a secure, functional, long-term life, basically. Uh, and I do see that you are, you're really manifesting right now. Manifesting new things, manifesting new um, opportunities, even start perhaps even starting new creating new things starting a new job or wanting to get a better one uh, wanting to get a new a good one if you don't have one yet um it's more about stability that's your main focus yeah it seems like this is an intention for the new year but you're starting it with yeah this is what you're gonna do and you want to achieve it at a specific date and time and um, now, looking at love, love connection, that's what we're here for. Uh, a situation I see, Libra, you want, to, you want more from a situation. You want more from a certain individual. Um, you want a relationship. You want commitment. If you don't have anybody right now, this is just saying that you would rather be alone 
than be in a relationship that is not functional, than be in a relationship that is codependent, than be in a relationship that is um, keeping you stuck. Yeah. So I see that that's the decision that you're making right now. But here we are in this reading because we're talking, we're going to be talking about the person you have in mind. And I do see here that you're wanting more from this person. You've been running it in your head. Yeah. Thinking about um, how could you possibly get a relationship or a commitment from this specific person. Now, let, let's talk about the person you have in mind then. You've got this person confused. Yeah, this is someone who is not necessarily unsure or delusional of what what life is or what they want in life, but more so um, somebody who is pretty confused uh, because they may not be able to understand how they feel about the situation with you. Yeah, for some reason there seem to be some flow of emotions between two people and yet there is no direction there's no are we heading here are we heading forward are we heading backwards there's no direction at all there's just that sense of feeling connected having feelings towards each other but you don't really know what yeah it could be lust it could be endearment it could be um benefits it could be desire, yeah, or it could just be chemistry, yeah, the initial chemistry, the initial spark. So there's that. So you've got someone confused here, yeah. But somehow I feel like even if this person is confused in terms of how they feel, if they want something, this person would definitely do the step. So if they want to see you, they don't even know whether are they in love with you or they do they they want you, whatnot. But if you have that connection and if there is a chance for them to meet you and if they want to meet you, boom, this person is right there. They would find a way to meet you. So in terms of their actions, they they act based on 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 the current moment and what they feel like doing at that current moment. Yeah, regardless whether. Are you connected? Are you in love? Are you, no, emotions are, 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 are pretty different here. So you have someone here too who is very like charming. So I, I see that a possibility where you both have been flirting with one another, um, tickling each other's fancy <laughs> and whatever, whatever you guys, your kids do nowadays in terms of uh, connecting through that initial spark or connecting through that passion that you both have yeah but you have someone here who is pretty charming and I feel like you are attracted to this person yeah who can say no to this queen of wands <laughs> right so that's the energy that this person was embodying when you cannot uh, stop yourself from thinking about them. <laughs> That's what I feel. So now, um, all right. Well, why do we have the Ten of Swords here? Devil, Ten of Swords, Death. There seemed to be a. Is this a. Um, It would rather feel like in the current moment, it would feel like there's nothing going on now between the two of you. Yeah. It may have been an initial spark. Yeah. It may have been an initial. Uh... For some of you, this could be like a one, one time, two time moments, basically. It would feel like that. Yeah. It would feel like that. But as of now, I, I do see that perhaps both parties, you and them, are kind of thinking that this could be this is this is end this this has ended. Yeah, this has ended. Yeah. But I feel like this person is, is thinking about messaging you, thinking about this connection with you, even though it feels like it has ended. 
It feels like you may have stopped talking. It feels like It feels like it's very quiet right now. Yeah. This person is still thinking that oh, this connection with with um Libra. What is this? Can I still message Libra? You know, there is that sense that um there is that sense that they're still into this connection and of course not yet in terms of of pursuing it they're just um, looking at it thinking about it for some of you this ten of swords could be an ending that they have with someone else yeah could be an ending that they have with someone else because I see here their attraction towards you it's there it's grand right and the fact that they are confused right now with their emotions um, that means that they do have feelings for you they just couldn't place it yet they just couldn't define it yet yeah could be because they were with someone else but it seems like things have ended with that person yeah and now this person is, is put at that crossroads where they are thinking right now, where should I go then? Should I connect with Libra? Should I message Libra? What can I offer Libra? Yeah. So that's the energy I am getting for them. And you know what, Libra? In If this resonates with you, I do see that this person is hoping to be in a rather relationship. Yeah, because it seems like you have someone here who is charming, attractive, and at the same time, somebody who knows what relationship is, who knows how to carry a relationship, and someone who is looking for one. Yeah, someone who is looking to be with someone who they can grow, they can expand with, they can be together and, and build a life together. Yeah, build a life together. Um, for this person, if they have had an ending in the past with someone else, I feel like um, they could be, you know, if there is that sense that they are stepping back because they are trying to see what's the best thing to do next. Um, it's more like choosing your own battle, choosing or, or selecting, you know, for them to meet you, there could be different several um different ways yeah in handling in approaching you and this person right now is trying to see what's the best approach yeah towards you because it feels like the moment you met this person there is that connection they felt with you and they wish yeah and they hope that whatever that connection you have initially built yeah could turn into something more yeah we have the lovers here yeah and this person is wishing to be more uh connected with you if you are just getting to know each other if this is just the beginning and there wasn't any decision made to proceed into something greater into escalating something up this person is definitely wishing and hoping that you can both be lovers yeah there is that sense that they want more they want more out of this yeah like i said you may have already started getting to know with them and and things may have just died down a little bit because this person may be just ending a cycle with someone else yeah they're ending a cycle with someone else and for some reason i am seeing that the outcome at least for this reading is more about them uh evaluating how they could escalate things with you yeah so basically you have someone here who will be stepping up someone here who will be stepping up on your end i feel you're you're pretty good you're just busy with your own life taking care of your own um self your stability your security and i know that you've been thinking about this person mm-hmm and you want something to be rebirth, uh, to be uh, rebirth here, or to have a rebirth, I feel like this person is heading there. 
this is still gonna go on possibly in the next one or two weeks but things will change after that it's not gonna prolong as much because this lover's energy is pretty strong and i feel like this person is just taking some time to weigh their steps to weigh their options on how to approach you they still want this to continue okay i'm gonna leave it at that let me know if this resonates in the comment section and don't forget to hit like and subscribe also don't forget to check out my uh tarot deck the limited edition nomad soul warrior tarot the link is in the description box below or you can follow me in instagram at nomad soul warrior the link is also going to be in there bye libra